I'm starting to get a little worried that my girlfriend thinks I'm into piss play. That, I guess that's a cold open. Hello, welcome back. Wonderful to see you again. Back here in this uh, wonderful world of Silent Hill, we've been yeeted off the roof. We've got a nice cozy padded room in which to lick our wounds. Uh, how are you guys doing? I'm good. Uh, it's been a minute since I have played this. Uh, I unfortunately had the circumstance of having my uh, old TV on which I recorded stolen from me before its time. It was tragic. It was truly a difficult uh, time for us all. But, uh, you know, while everybody else was out panic buying toilet paper and canned goods for the apocalypse, I was at Best Buy getting a motherfucking flat screen. So, you know... Uh, your girl's pimpin' pimpin' now. We got a brand new TV, and we're ready to have some brand new adventures on it. Uh, let's see what's on this wall in high definition. 9657. I should probably remember that. Turn, turn, turn to the numbers. Better not forget them. Not that that's ever happened before. So I'll write them down here. The other one, my secret name. So your, your, your secret name? What is it? Is it Susan? You stuck in the closet? Is this the closet? I can relate. So, uh, moving on now, we have some puzzles to solve, some codes and keys to gather to unravel the mysteries of Silent Hill. Uh, mystery number one, is Lyman to piss play? No, I am not. That's on the record, officially. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. Well, I mean, maybe there's something wrong with that, but I don't know. There's worse things you could do, right? There's worse things people could be into. Uh, but I'm not, and I mean that. I, I mean that sincerely this time. I just... I have this problem where I can't uh, help but compulsively joke about uh, piss play on a frequent basis. And wow, this camera takes uh, getting used to after having been away from it for a while. I don't, I don't think that's that weird, though. I don't think that that's out of the ordinary. I think a lot of people joke about piss, right? I mean, <laughs> I also probably shouldn't say piss 17 times in the first two minutes of a YouTube video, but hey, forget about it. Uh, I think the puzzle's at the end of the hall. But, I mean, legitimately... Piss is probably the funniest kink. Uh, right? Right? Because, like, when, when somebody tells you that they're into piss play, it's always in, like, hushed breaths, like, mm, hey, uh, I got a dark, dark secret. I don't think you're going to be uh, ready to get on my level. I like I like pee-pee. And it's just, it's not, it's not that, it's not that dark. It's not that edgy, realistically. It's, it's, it's mild by comparison. Can I get keys? Oh, well, I have a code. I actually did write it down. That was rather smart of me. Let's get through. But yeah, it's not like like if somebody were to come to you and say, like, uh, yeah, I, I like being uh, electrocuted on a stake. It's like, whoa, dude, slow down. But it's just like, ew, I like to wet myself. It's just, it's not like you're physically, you know, cringing at the whole thought of the intense, horrible uh, experience. You're just kind of like, hmm. That's kind of gross, uh, but that, that that's as far as it goes, and t to me, that's... Oh, I don't think I need to combine this. I just I just need to use it, right? Do I even use the combine function? That's survival horror as hell. We're almost in. We're, we're nearly there. But yeah, no, I just... I feel like there's this disconnect, right, between uh, how edgy... Uh, a, a piss fetishist feels like their kink is, and how shameful, and uh, how how dark and depraved it truly is in the scale of kinks. Uh, and, and there's also just something funny uh, about about pee in general, and I, I think it might just be the Donald Trump piss tape thing. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, there is something inside the box. It's a few hairs. Not sure. Uh, that we needed to lock up a piece of hair like uh, it, it was a bar of gold and four knocks, but hey, everybody uh, has, you know, different values to place on different treasures. It's, it's about the sentimental uh, value, really. Uh, 
This piece of hair could have been priceless to someone. Maybe it belonged to John Lennon, who knows. Uh, can't get those no more. That's off the market, kids. I did take a minute to re-familiarize myself with the layout and everything, but, uh, you know, probably not as much as I should have. Oh, Maria's in here. How you doing, Maria? James, I want to ask you something. Hmm. Shoot. What if... What if you can't find Mary? What will you do? Uh, I've actually got a resort down in Key Largo. Rather nice place. Hmm. So Maria's got uh, coronavirus. That's unfortunate for her, but I've got bigger fish to fry. Like, where do I go? So down the hall, there's a save point. I don't need that right now. Maybe the shower room? Because I just came from the special treatment rooms. So that's where I was yeeted to by Daddy Pyramid Head. Very, very kind of him to yeet me over there. Uh, that was locked previously. So convenient that he helps my progress by absolutely wrecking my shit. Ha! <laughs> owned. You, you, you thought you owned me, liberals? Well, now you are the one who has been owned. Okay, so we've got, we've got the, the, the green slime. We've got the industrial goop. Some ninja turtles down there. Can't quite reach my hand in, though, but... If I had a narrow tool of some kind... Okay, uh, luckily for me, I know the solution to this puzzle already. Or it would probably take me, I don't know, 30 minutes of fucking around before I give up and Google it, and then I figure it out. I have to, you do a little combining. Ooh, ooh everybody's favorite survival horror mechanic. I have to combine the hair with the, with the, with the hook to make, to make a fish hook. Now I can use it to fish out the object of some kind. I'm not, I don't remember what object it is. But that's what I have to do, and I'm glad I know that. Because, Jesus Christ, old school PlayStation era survival horror puzzles were obtuse as hell. I do not have the galaxy brain intelligence to handle this kind of shit. Hmm. I mean, I, ha I had a stick. There's all kinds of shit lying around in this hospital I'm not allowed to pick up for some reason that could have easily done this job, but I had to make a fish hook out of hair. James, you are truly the MacGyver of video game protagonists. You are un an unstoppable force of intelligence and ingenuity. So, next stop, elevator. Uh, I'm sure nothing could possibly go wrong there. I just have to remember the way to get over there, and I went the wrong direction. Well, that explains a lot. I also want to comment real quick how sick it is that these bodies have been sitting here forever. Look at the... I don't know if you can see it, because for some reason my capture is darker than the actual game footage on, on the TV. But, like, as I'm walking over her corpse, the blood is splattering everywhere as I walk forward. If I turn around, I'm leaving bloody footprints. Look at that. Look at that. You can see it if I point the flashlight. That's so cool! These don't fucking despawn. These are just here forever. And I don't know, that just that adds to the to the, the realism and just the the gory, gruesome grunginess of it. it. It's filthy and it doesn't stop being filthy just because I enter a new room. I just gotta live with this shit. Uh, I've probably commented on that before, but I I just think that's a pretty uh, sweet touch. Good attention to detail. But I shouldn't yammer too much. We've got adventures to have. We've got uh, wives to save. Hell yeah. Not gonna Donald Trump this one and remarry. Um, I don't remember... I don't actually know where I want to go. Hang on. Hang on, let me check the other floors. So I'm on the third floor, so that's probably not the right choice, because I'm already here. Uh, the second floor... Elevator leads me places I could already go. Um, is maybe the first floor better? Well, I hit the wrong button on the map, but I'm just gonna gamble. Unless there's a basement button. There is not. Okay, so let's try the first floor. And see what, what wonders await in the depths below. Mmm. Mmm, delicious. Oh. Oh. Darth Vader? Are you my father? I've been searching for him for 20 years. He's still going to get cigarettes. 
I wouldn't be surprised if this is how his lungs sounded after that much smoking. Hmm. Where, where am I right now, though? I'm on the... I am on the first floor. Okay, so I still can't go to the garden or the pool. That's... That's unfortunate. I wanted to uh, take a take a nice little swim. It's great cardio. Uh, it improves the lung circulation, so you don't end up sounding like this. Uh, C4. Nope. No dice. No explosivo for me. But C3 is good to go. And oh, oh yes, items. Items. Give me. Shotgun shells. What hospitals complete without them? Not none in the post-COVID apocalypse society we are hurtling towards at a startling rate. What, what else do you see, James? You see something. More bullets. Very good. Is that it? Doesn't appear to be looking for any more goodies. I'm gonna fill my Easter basket with these. Ooh. Uh, I'm going this way, right? Yeah. It's so easy to lose my my direction when the camera changes its orientation every time I go through a door. I mm. wonder if James is into pee. He, he really strikes me as that kind of guy, right? Where he's like, he, he just acts mild-mannered and assuming, but he's like, I've got a dark secret. No one can know. She's laughing at my pee fetish. Laura? Huh? You know my name? Eddie told me. That big fat blabbermouth. How do you know about Mary? What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? You gonna yell at me if I don't? No, I won't. later. This is no place for a kid. There are all sorts of strange things around here. I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you. Why should I? What are you doing, Laura? It's further back, in the desk. Laura! What are you doing? Ha ha, I tricked you. Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it?
So a whole lot we could unpack here, but we don't have time for any of that. James is a fucking idiot, and we are under uh, serious assault. Our life is in mortal peril. James, you fucking dumbass. Um, I'm just gonna pump as much lead into these and hope for the best. That's the American way. Eh. Ow, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, what's... Oh, oh god, am I dead? Oh, I... Apparently I have this habit of mashing buttons wildly anytime I get in peril from a boss. I'm not sure how to avoid uh, getting slurped up like that, but um, as much as much of a proponent as I am of the suck, this is not really what I had in mind. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, hide by the microwave. Yeah, yeah. Demons hate microwaves. Oh shit. Shit, shit. I might take. I should check my health. I feel like I'm taking a lot of damage. Yeah, wow, I only narrowly survived that. Luckily, I seem to have saved up a lot of health items from my last playing session, which is convenient for me. There we go, perfectly healthy. Nothing... Oh, whoops, didn't mean to use an extra one of those. That was a waste. <clears throat> no, no, no. Why doesn't it start bring me back out of the menu? I'm sorry, I'm not used to these buttons. It's been too long. Okay, so I think I am safe as long as uh, I don't let them uh, grab me by the little tootsies and, and bring me in for the suck. How many levels of hell are you on? Uh, I don't know. Maybe three or four, my guy. You are like a little baby. Watch this. So <laughs> Sorry. I love memes. I love memes. So does my girlfriend, but she just she doesn't get the true the true artistry of a top tier meme like like piss play. And I, I, did I did I kill him? Oh, I'm still moving. Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in. He wants a kiss. Oh no no no! It's only our first date. Only a whore would kiss on the first date. And I am a god fearing Christian man. Even if I might be into piss play, I would never do such a thing on the first date. You swine. Am I, am I shooting it? I'm not sure. I also need to remember how to reload in menu so it doesn't make me stand in place like a dummy. Uh, how many bullets do I have also? Oh, not many. Um, I actually have less than I have shotgun, or about the same. Let me see if this goes any faster if I use the shotgun. I mean, it must, right? Right, and I mean, this is a boss fight, it's as good a time as any. I'm already a good way through it, but I just, I'd like to end this in uh, shorter order rather than less without having my resources completely sapped, if that's possible. And whoa, 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 I've done drugs. We've had Pyramid Head, we've had nurses, and uh, now to really authenticate the Silent Hill uh, famous trope experience, we've officially got uh, rusty, m grungy, bloody metal and air raid sirens. So now we are in it for real. So uh, reflecting on what's happened a little bit, well, first of all, I'm it's raining. I'm outside, maybe? Am I in the garden, perhaps? Is that where I've been taken? It is. Smaller than it looks on the map. Uh, Laura is a fucking shit kid, but I can't blame her too much for clowning on James a little bit there because, I mean, come on now. I, I'm acting like a, a crazy person and shouting at her, and then I'm just saying, oh no, come on, let's go. Uh, regardless of her uh, wants or intentions, that's a little bit strange or dangerous. She does not know me. Uh, and I don't know her. We've met like an hour ago, so... I, you know, I don't blame her for clowning on me and locking me in the room. I, I do kind of have pedo look, stare in my eyes. If we kind of close up on James, no? You can watch him crouch, though. He crouches like a weirdo. 
This is what he does when I hold the run button without moving, by the way. This is how he gets a running start. He just kind of hunches over. That's totally normal. She also amassed some sort of army of teddy bears. Not sure where she was able to do that, but overall she seemed like she was just having a real fucking good time in the hospital, which, uh, contrary to my experience uh, of being under constant assault by uh, monsters and denizens of various sorts and types. So, yeah, kind of, you get the feeling that, you know, while Eddie, uh, Maria, and uh, Angela seem to all uh, share the experience of seeing some, some sort of fucked up shit, Laura just seems genuinely unconcerned, despite the fact that she is a rather presumably combat, non-adept uh, little kid. So this just adds to the theory that kids don't see bad shit in Silent Hill. Uh, is it because their uh, brains aren't developed enough to un understand the ramifications? Or is it just because they haven't had enough time to commit copious sins? Lord only knows. But uh, with that, we have transformed into the other world. The hospital has taken a bit of a turn for the worse. This place is fucking filthy. Folks, this is what happens uh, if you fail to flatten the curve of COVID-19. This is the kind of world we could be living in. Silent Hill officials had lots of time uh, to prepare. They issued no lockdown, they ordered no supplies, and uh, look at the world they have wrought. So this is, this is where we're going to be in the post-apocalyptic Silent Hill hellscape in uh, just a few short months. If we don't get our act together, shotgun shell is perfect. I should probably switch back to melee though. New oh boy. Do 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 do. I can't use this, right? Looks like I can't use that here. I absolutely could, but it's stained with something red, and I don't plan on using it as a weapon for some reason. Even though it's probably a little better than the stick I picked up. It's not very powerful. It says right there in the description, but fuck it. Good enough, good enough for uh, a combat-hardened veteran like good old James here. So, uh, hell to the yeah. Alright. So I can't go that way. There's a door behind me that I want to try, and then a door to my right. I expect this door behind me probably won't work, but I want to try all my options. Nope. It has been covered with some kind of tarp, so that means it's inaccessible. If I know anything about tarps, it's that they, they cannot be displaced by any force known to man. And whoa, 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 camera angles. Slow your roll, dude. Um, so this elevator, I assume, still works, but I'm going to try and get everything on this floor before I move on do this. Uh, what, what, what's the word we use, folks? How do we traverse the unfriendly lands of Silent Hill as effectively as possible? That's right, we do it systematically. Uh, like we uh, had quality executive functioning and not ADHD and various other executive dysfunctions. Okay, no. really, you're a nurse. You are a registered health professional. You are supposed to be making me healthier, and all I can get out of you is the opposite. You're, you're making me unhealthy. This is bullshit. You should be ashamed. You should also maybe get that crick in your neck checked out. I, I know a, a good massage therapist. I, I know a good physical therapy place. I would, cons I would just consider paying a visit, is all I'm saying. Whoa. I just heard some glass break? Where, where, where was that? Nothing seems to have changed in this room. I also, I'm here rumbling. Am I dying again? Yep. Motherfuck. Why are I not good at games? Uh, eh. That's good enough. No, no, no. Stop, stop. God, it's so easy to accidentally use things. I'm used to the start button opening and closing. And... I guess if I go over here, the glass breaking sound happens. I don't have a first person perspective. I do have this weird camera lock, but that's it. What is that sound? I'm perplexed by this mystery. I'm sure it's the most pressing one I have available to uh, 
to investigate, no? I'm not going backwards by accident, now am I? No, I'm not. That is probably the first time I've gotten that feeling and it wasn't true. Look at me. Look at me maneuvering my environments like I knew what I was doing to some extent. This is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Ah, no, 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 no. Don't be so judgmental just because I like to have my girlfriend piss in my mouth. It's normal. It's, it's, we're, we're married, actually. I don't know why I said my girlfriend. Mary, if you're listening, please don't take that the wrong way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Health drinks. Yes, good. Good. Filled with nutrients. Possibly FDA approved, maybe. I, I don't have any way to, to, to verify that, but it seems trustworthy. Ugh. Maybe it's made of cum. Hey. I don't know why. I, I, have I suddenly adopted the humor of a 13 year old? Just kidding. I, I haven't advanced that far yet. Maybe someday my humor will get that uh, nuanced and refined. But I, for now, I can only dream. So there isn't shit on this floor. So I guess I will go up to floor two via the elevator. Thank God that worked. I, 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 you know, I felt like it must, but I was not a hundred percent sure. A lot of tarps in here too. At least they're keeping uh, things clean. We don't want to ruin the the fresh coat of paint on the walls. It makes everything seem so much more fresh and homey. Oh shit! 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 Where? Where? What? Where? What? There's things. There's things abound. I don't know where. I don't know from whence. Can I look this way? I can. Oh, perfect. I'm glad you don't have ranged attacks. That would be bad for me. Oh god, they're so squelchy. Why do people think they're sexy? They're not that sexy. And. I, I mean, that is supposed to be the symbolism, right? I, I've probably touched on this before, but like the nurses with their their supple legs and ample bosom are kind of like all of the enemies, or at least most of the enemies in this game, represent you know some part of James's uh, inner inner guilt, regret, etc. Uh, I am very close to death, and my game controls are glitching out. Love it, love it. Let's try this again, shall we? Maybe get a gun. Uh, this seems like the course of action before I fucking die. But yeah, all the enemies in this game kind of represent some aspect of James's guilt. Uh, of course, his wife Mary had uh, some some illnesses, and I cannot seem to do the thing I want to do regarding the uh, camera. That sucks. No room for the lactu to fly behind me. Mm. Shame. What? There we go. Now I have room. Well, now my horrific incident of terror is over. But, uh, well, you know, Mary was, uh, dying of terminal illness. James was spending a lot of time in hospitals, and as it turns out, a lot of nurses are hot. It's just one of those facts of life. And, uh, certainly, Comparatively speaking, much hotter than a uh, disease-ridden, uh, wasting away, dying wife. Uh, so, know, let's be honest, the old ball and chain isn't really, you know, gonna be doing it after a couple decades like she used to anyway. Am I right? Am I right, men? Am I right, husbands out there? Hey, you, you guys get me. You guys get me. Uh, my, 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 my social media is in the description if you want to Venmo me some cash for, for, for a little companionship. You know, you know, you know. Uh, but shit, yeah, so, that James, you know, probably felt a little bad. He did love his wife, and, uh, he totally hoed on her a little bit there, or at least thought about it, so. His, his past has come back to haunt him in the form of plausibly, questionably sexy monster nurses? Anyway, we have a paper here. I was locked up inside the basement's basement. It was so small and dark, and I was so afraid. I dropped my precious ring, but I will never, ever go back there. Fuck that. Fuck my precious. <sighs> so I guess we're going to the basement's basement to get the precious. This is what a normal wall in a hospital looks like. That's quality graffiti, though, I'll say that. Got the dry cell battery and the basement storeroom key. 
Part of the wallpaper's torn. I can see something drawn under the wall beneath. Are those hands searching for something, or are they just a sign of pain? That was kind of deep, James. You should be an art critic. Try to make more money than at whatever that end job you used to hold, you white bread son of a bitch. Why are there monsters back here? There were not monsters a second ago. I, I definitely got them all. Uh, well, I'm gonna, uh, oh, nope, that lock is broken, I can't run. Must fight! Like a man, like a manly man that I am. Not some kind of questionably racist femboy. I am an upstanding American. A proud history of piss fetishism. I'm sorry, I keep talking about that. Oh my god, this room is not nice. Is... Eh. You know, James, what would really be nice right now is a nice knife. Like the one you're holding in your pocket, which is already questionably safe. Die, 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 die. Don't hit me, I'm already dying too much. I see a health drink, though, so if I can, like, avoid taking too many hits, this will be a net positive room. Uh, some of these rooms really are not worth it for, you know, comparing the damage you take to the loot you receive. But, I don't know, overall this one might be alright. At the very least, I think I break even. Oh, yeah, James seems to be looking at something. I think there's at least one more item to achieve. I've achieved shotgun shells. Perfect. So yeah, overall, probably net positive. I just, I don't get it though. I don't get it though. Just because somebody jokes about wanting their girlfriend to piss in their mouth so they can gargle it while they come, you know, several weeknights and weekends, whenever Nokia gives me the free cell minutes, I don't think that's any reason to believe that they have a piss fetish, right? I mean, that's, that's jumping to conclusions awfully fast, in my opinion. In my opinion, I, I like to, you know, I like to be not too quick to judge a book by its cover, personally. Because uh, I am an uh, open-minded, uh, free thinker. Pretty big-brained, I know not everybody can get on my level, but... To me, that's just basic logic. Anything as, as, as obviously funny as piss can't be taken at surface value. She's an angel, no one knows. Only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Oh, guess I'm fucked. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sins she devours them. Sin and sinner alike, she saves me. She is an angel. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm fucked. I'm a rad criminal who commits lots of crimes, rides a skateboard, wears sunglasses, and is a super cool dude, which all the kids look up to. So I, I am ready to be devoured. At least, at least I am in Tavor, so it'll be a, a good death. And by, by I'm in Tavor, I mean James. I'm not into weird stuff, okay? I'm wholesome. It's James. He's the bad one. L look at the way he talks to children. Aren't you immediately creeped out? Rush to judge him, not me. Let me project... Let me project those deepest, darkest thoughts that I cannot personally reflect on onto him. And I think this is the room Mary was in. I don't know if it's supposed to be ominous that I'm hearing a beating heart and labored breathing with this empty bed, but... Or did, did I say Mary? Maria? I don't know. I haven't found... Is Mary sick now, too? Okay, so this was the this was the Maria room, and I guess this is her pill uh, pill bottles. She's literally taken all of them, which is a healthy way to deal with any sickness. Just take fifty pills at once and leave the empty bottles strewn about. Whether, whether you're uh, in Silent Hill suffering from the coronavirus or just recovering from a mild cold at home, uh, take notes. Copious amounts of prescriptions taken in aggregate is the best the best solution known to man and god why are there so many things I skipped two rooms I'm gonna try and go back and get those before I fight off whatever horrors await me here 
I just hope nothing respawns in this hallway like it was in the last one. That was not my favorite, if I'm going to be honest. But uh, the shower room over there, there was uh, stuff in there before, so maybe there will be again. That would be cool. That would be awesome and rad. But nope. I've wasted yet more of my time. I am such a dumbus. I'm a dumbus, like Big Chungus. Yeah. So, what was I... I swear there was something I wanted to do before moving on, but whatevs. Let's rock and roll. Are you down to clown? I guess now you're just down. I got that was my attempt at uh, one of those action hero one-liners that you're supposed to say when you kill an enemy. I don't know if that was uh, truly top level. I'll let you guys be the judge. And oh, the stairwell's open now. Okay, that's convenient. I'll go ahead and take a save. Sure, why not? It's one of the greatest life skills. Uh, wash your hands. Cough in your elbows, and save often. This is how we deal with uh, impending threats. So remember that, everyone. Uh, tell your family, tell your friends. Put up little posters with reminders at your place of business. If we can save often, together, we can beat the coronavirus. And if we don't, we can just go back to our last save point and try again. Die. Die. Oh no. No, no, I didn't mean to reload. There we go. Look at look at me bobbing and weaving. I'm like Barry Sanders. Zombies ain't got nothing on my moves. And what's this? Oh, there's a second elevator? Was that always there? I guess it was. This one doesn't work like the last one. But I missed a door already. I am such a clod. I guess I was busy fighting the abominations of the night, but doesn't mean it's any excuse for being inobservant and inattentive. I'm a let's player, it's my job to play every game perfectly and make no mistakes. Or maybe it's my job to make the dumbest mistakes possible for your entertainment. I don't know, I'll, I'll let you be the judge. I'll let you be the judge. Tell me in the comments, am I supposed to be the best player ever? make funny goof gaffes and mistakes for for your vicarious thrill or simultaneously do both uh, pleasing no one uh i think that's that's the main expectation right hmm but i don't i think that's everything over here i could go check and see what's on the other side of the day room though don't think there will be anything to find i think i have to go to the stairwell now but Yep, this is completely blocked off. So, time to see where the stairwell leads. Um, it was blocked off on floor two. Oh no, but that stairwell is not, and that leads to the part where I want to go. Okay, so we'll, we'll go to f floor two and see if we can find anything steamy in the women's locker room. Oh boy. Cue up the smooth jazz. <laughs> my saxophone playing is even better than my singing, I promise. You won't be disappointed, ladies. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's the number one most effective lesbian mating call, certified Cosmopolitan Magazine 2020. The, the, the smooth jazz sax. And that door doesn't work. Well, there go all my hopes and dreams of finding a GF for the quarantine. Rip. Guess we're going down, down in an earlier round. Sugar, we're going down swinging. Oh, can't oh, go to there either. So I guess I have to go to the basement's basement and get swallowed up by the devourer of sinners. And is this just going on forever? I. Th oh. Oh, I don't like that. Did you hear that? Is that. Okay. 
that coming through on the capture? The same way it's coming through for me? It's some sort of rat child. Ugh. If Laura wasn't a good enough advertisement for birth control, this will probably do the trick. I don't like that. Stop. Stop. Oh, I don't want to go in this room. I don't... I don't want to see what's in here. I don't... I really don't want to do it. <laughs> There's no way this bodes well for me in any fashion. Um... Oh. Oh, I expected some kind of fight, uh, to be honest. The, the ridiculous amount of fucking stairs that I had to traverse to get down here combined with the ominous noise and the convenient save point really led me to believe I was going to get owned, but I guess it's just more puzzles. Unless there's something evil back here. Or maybe there is something evil down here and it's me. What, what? James. Oh, it's Mary. a room. Okay. Oh, Maria. It's you. I thought you were... Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. <laughs> anyway? What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. You couldn't care less about me. You. No, I just... Then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. <laughs> so, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but she ran away. We've got to find her. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. Okay, uh... Yeah, James is definitely acting like kind of a kind of an asshole. Didn't really seem that happy to see her alive. But what what, what do you mean I'm supposed to take care of you, Maria? We we literally met like an hour ago. I don't even know your middle or last name. I'm not sure you have any. I don't think they thought that far NPC wise. And uh, is there anything here? Oh, the copper ring. Cool. Maria, you really could have picked that up for me. You are not terribly helpful or observant to the to the MacGuffins that this plot requires. So this is the basement's basement. Not very exciting. Eh. And all I got was a ring from this. I'm not sure how that's going to allow me to progress, but I guess I will have to find out. Through trial and error, basically checking every room until something happens. And that sound is still happening. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful. That is music to the old ears. With that, I think I'm going to call it for now. We have reunited with our good friend Maria. We have found the copper ring in the basement's basement. We have discussed why the only good and moral choice is to pee only into porcelain bowls in a bathroom near you. Friends, it is up to you to please the eyes of God that are always upon you. Uh, next time on Lime Time, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss more, more pressing issues to the Christian community while we discover what to do with this ring. Until then, have a wonderful evening. Or morning, I don't know when you watch things. If you're one of those weird people that watches Let's Plays in the morning, you're valid too. Smash that like and subscribe button twice as hard to represent the morning crew.